Good afternoon, Year One, and welcome to your science lesson. In science, we have been learning all about animals. We have been looking at grouping our animals, and we've been looking at categorizing our animals. We've also looked at similarities and differences in our animals, and we've looked at the dog, and we've looked at a human. So we said that the dog, it had two eyes, two ears, and a nose, it had a spine, but the dog had paws and we've got fingers. It has four legs and we have two legs. And the dog has a tail and we haven't got a tail. Now today, we're gonna to be describing and comparing the structure of a variety of common animals. Now our first animal, can you at home, year one, have a talk with your adult and see if you can guess the name of this animal? Well done, year one, if you are said a lemur. Now, a lemur has similar characteristics to a monkey. It has a snout, it has two very large eyes, it has two shorter front legs and two longer hind legs. The hind legs are longer so that the lemur can stand upright. Now, we've looked at our ears, got two pointy ears, and fantastic enough, it has two tongues, the lemur has two tongues. Now we know that we've got only one, but he used one of his tongue for eating and the other one for grooming. Now let's look at our, our next animal. It's a fish. Well done, you one, a fish. Now we know that our fish, it's got similar characteristics to our lemur because it's got two eyes, it's got a mouth, but our fish has fins and it has gills so that it can breathe, whereas our lemur has a lung so that it can breathe. Now let's look at our next animal. It's a lizard, and we know that our lizard fall in the reptile category. So we know that it's got two eyes, it's got a mouth, but a difference between our reptile and our lemur is that our lemur's got fur, and our lizard has got scaly skin. Now let's look at our next animal. We've got a frog, and we know that our frog falls into the amphibian category. Amphibian, so we know that our frog lays eggs in water. Now let's look at our next animal, which is a bird. So one feature of our bird is that it has feathers, and another feature is that it's got a beak. But a similar feature to all our animals is that they've all got two eyes. Can you think of any other similarities at home and talk with your adult and write them down? Now, we've got a question here. What's the same and what's different? Now we've got two animals. We've got our birds and bats. Can you have a thing with your adult at home and see if you can find out what's the same between our bird and bat, and what's different? Well done, year one. So we can use from our memory characteristics that we know about our bird and our bat. We know that they've got wings so that they can fly, but there's a difference between our bird and our bat. Our bat is nocturnal, and nocturnal means that it's active at night, meaning that at night time, it goes out to hunt and it eats, and at daytime, it sleeps. And our bird, our bird does, can you ever guess you one? Well done. Our bird is very active during the daytime. So at daytime, it goes out and it hunts for its food, and at nighttime, it sleeps, it rests. Well done. Can you think of any other similarities and differences between the bird and the bats? Have a go and think at home with your adult. Write these down and send it in to your teachers. Fantastic year one. Now we've got another question and it says true or false? All animals have feet. So let's look, have a look at all our animals that we've got here. First, can you have a think here when at home with your adult? And see whose feet do you think these belong to? Who's missing a feet? Who's walking around without any feet? They are missing it. Have a go and think with your adult. 
Well done, year one, if you upset a duck or a goose or a geese, if you upset one of these animals because these are webbed feet. They are webbed feet. Now let's look at our what animal. Whose feet do you think these are? They belong to a cat. Fantastic. And they are called paws. They are called paws. Now, whose feet do you think these belong to you? And have a talk with your adult at home and see if you can guess whose feet these belong to. Well done, you one. If you have said an elephant, these feet belong to an elephant and these are called toes. So the elephant has got toenails as well, just like you and I. We've got toenails and the elephant has got toenails. Now, let's look at these feet. Whose feet do you think these are? Have a talk with your adult at home and see if you can come up with an answer. Well done, you one. If you have said a horse or it could be a donkey, could belong to a donkey as well. Well done. And these are called hooves. These are called hooves. Fantastic. So now let's go back to our question. True or false? All animals have feet. Have a think with your adult at home and see what you think. Well done, you one, if you have said fours. Because some animals got feet, but others have got hooves. For example, a fish is an animal and a fish hasn't got feet. It has fins. Fantastic. Now we've got another question here from Spartacus. Dr. Spartacus says, that sharks don't have any ears. Is he correct? That's one question. Explain your reasoning using the picture to help you. Now, let's have a look at our picture. Now we see a shark here. And now we know that our shark's got a nose, it's got eyes, and it's got an ears. Yes, so the shark has got an ear because it needs to listen to different sounds under the water. So like a shark, we've got the dolphin, we've got the whale. These use their ears for sound waves so they can hear their prey from miles and miles away under the water. So they, if their prey is way out, they can hear by sound waves. Just like when we're in the classroom, we can hear if you are very loud, we can tell because we've got ears and so the shark. So, Dr. Spartacus says that sharks don't have any ears. Is he correct? If you have said no, he is not correct, then you are correct. Well done, you are. And he says, explain your reasoning. Now, our reason is that he needs his ears and he does have ears so we can hear sounds very far away. So we can hear his praise. He can hear difference. He can know when danger is up ahead. So he knows that if he's going to the left or if he's going to the right and he can sense danger, that means he's going to go the opposite way. Thank you, year one. Well done for listening. Thank you. Bye.